Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla, and today we are in the city of Crater Lake, and it's kind of funny, I think we just won a match because everybody is super excited. So today we are going to be building out a large residential area. The Cashman family, who has recently built out this large mall, is having some employment issues here. We are definitely having a lot of them, and so I kind of want to keep the game paused so that none of these go abandoned. And then we are going to be building up something special here. I think it's going to be really cool. So I want to extend our metro line over here and I want to extend our BRT network. We're going to have a road probably come up here and come over here and create a little bus station. Um, since a lot of suggestions on the last episode had mentioned that we didn't do any public transit and that would be super important here. And then we are going to have the road probably connect up over here and come all the way down here. And I think it's gonna be super fun. So one of the things I want to keep in mind with doing this, I want to do these little small neighborhoods kind of like a pattern in here but I want to create some large green belt areas for walking. And then I want to create some uh, small commercial areas around the outside. I ended up getting like a Lowe's or Home Depot and, and I think it's just gonna be fun. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. So before we do anything else, I do have to address the elephant in the room, which is these trucks. Um, so on the last episode, I had put these trucks in backwards and so many people commented on it. And I thought it was so funny. I just I didn't catch it and so I don't even know how those trucks would have pulled in they would have had to like crash into the building or something or maybe they would have like unhitched right here and had like a forklift push them in but either way there'd be no door so uh there'd be no u utility purpose for that other than maybe loading the opposite direction which would be kind of weird and so what we're going to do first is jump into our road layout so I do want to use the small two unit with the protected bike road. I really like these roads, especially for neighborhoods. I think they're fantastic. And so I think we're going to do a couple little plateaus. So I want to come in here, go to the level terrain tool, and we will build out a small plateau right here. And I want to make sure that we're not messing with the land too much. I really want to try to work with the land here, but I think it's going to be really fun to create out these small little spaces. Um, especially with the green belt and everything, I think it's going to be really enjoyable um, to just do this. And so um, I do want to come over here and do the same thing. We're going to just level this out, go probably like right there. I feel like that's probably pretty good. And then over here, we'll do the same thing. We'll probably grab this point and then come all the way up over here. Nice. And then that way we don't have any crazy, crazy hills over here. It's still pretty hilly, but um, honestly, it's just something that makes it a little bit easier with the homes. And so We'll come back in here, go to the two unit, three lane plus. I actually think it's in the two unit, actually. So we'll grab our road and let's um, go ahead and we will create an entrance right here. And we'll actually use a four unit road since that seems to be what is used over here. And then we will jump back into that road, grab it and then come this way. And so I want it to follow this road up here. Let's actually go a little bit further so that we can do like a shopping center or something over there. I feel like that could be good. And then that way we can come up over here, go ahead and turn off snapping and then have it bend. Yeah, you know what? I feel like that looks pretty good. And then we will go ahead and turn back on snapping, come this way. And then let's actually build out this bus lane road first, because this is going to be kind of an issue if we don't think about it. So busway with grass, I feel like that looks pretty good. So we will come down here and we are going to go like this. And then we're going to come out this way and we will line that up and connect it up. Perfect. And then let's jump into the slope tool and let's make sure that that is a nice even slope. And we'll probably even make this the barrier of our little, uh, little area right here. I feel like that could be good. And then we will come back in here and just kind of clean this up. You know, that actually looks pretty good. I, uh, I like it. So we'll go like this and then keep it like that. So this is up here. I don't think we're going to do key walls, but we definitely could to clean it up. We'll kind of see how it looks after it's all done. And so we'll go back into our road, go to bike, grab this, come this way and then go down and it looks like we're actually at a, at a good angle to where we could just go straight. So we'll go like that. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. And so I do want to kind of copy that on this side. So I want to go like right there and let's actually measure that. So we are at 27 units. So I want to come like right here, go out a little bit further and go out 27 units. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then that way what we can do is actually curve this in perfect. And then that way we will come in here, go to the marquee selection tool, grab all those nodes. I don't want to grab the busway and then come up here and control H. Nice. And then let's go ahead and clean that up real quick. Yeah, there we go. I do kind of wish that this hill wasn't as steep over here, but you know what? I don't know if there's going to be really anything that we can do about that. So we'll just um, extend this out a little bit further because I want to get homes on that backside. 
and then we'll probably just forget about this little middle step or maybe we'll just extend it right there. Nice. And so now what I want to do is go ahead and move on to our next section. So we will come up over here. Let's create a little space in the middle and we will go this way and I want to line it up with that other road. We'll come up here. Let's go ahead and just create basically a square in here. Yeah, you know, that looks pretty good. And then let's go ahead and measure that. So we have 25 units. So let's follow that road right there. We'll come out like right here. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll come up here and then let's um, do that 25 units on the other side. And it looks like we're just going to extend it out a little bit further. I really want this to match up. So then we'll do the same thing here. Curve this in. Nice. This is already looking pretty cool. And so now I want to come in here and do the same thing. I'm just going to level it all up. Grab all this, grab all that, grab all this. And it actually looks like we may need to mess around with our terrain a little bit more because I want it all to be on that middle step. So if we grab this, let's see if we have, if this one's pretty close. So if we control H right there, nice. And this is actually already looking pretty cool. We are going to lose some zoning off this backside, but I'm not too worried about it. And so let's go ahead and clear out that road. We'll go like right there. And then let's come up here and do the same thing. Create another little step. And it actually looks like this one's not too far off. How far are we from the top of that road? So this one we can actually fill in. Yeah, because we're pretty close to that. It does look like we have a little bit of a bump right there. So let's just clean that up. And then let's um, fill this in and see how far we can go. So if we come up over here, I'm just going to clean up these small little lines real quick. Yeah, we'll go like that. And so this is looking pretty good. I do, uh, I did kind of mess that up a little bit. So now what I want to do is go ahead and grab our bus road and we will go ahead and comp follow this all the way around. And I do want it to follow a similar distance from that. So I think we will have this go like right there and then we are going to line it up. It does look like we're a little bit off. Okay, and there we go. And so we did get a little bit of a turn over here, but I like it. I like it being a little uh, more symmetrical with this neighborhood over here. I feel like that is a little bit better. And so now let's come in here and let's go back to our bike road. So we will go over here and let's go ahead and create. I think we're going to do like a small shopping center over here. I feel like that would be good. And so let's um, come over here. Maybe we'll go like right here. I feel like this would be yeah a little bit better. So we'll go off of this road, come this way, and then let's um, go straight just a smidge. And then we will have this curve and follow the bus road. So we'll have this go like right there. Yeah, you know what? That actually looks pretty good. And then that way we can follow this up. And then let's go straight a little bit and have it turn. Nice. And so let's do the same thing on this side. Let's measure this real quick. So seven units. So then we will come out seven units and we will cut across go like this and then let's go straight all the way down let's actually create a little bit of a space for another little shopping center in there i feel like that would be good nice and there we go and so i'm just going to level this out same way as before grab all these units grab all these uh, nodes and then control h on one level okay and so now we have a nice little space in here we got an awesome little neighborhood coming out and so now i do want to have this extend just a little bit further no, you know, we actually don't need it. I was going to have it come up here and then turn, but honestly, this is a good enough connection right here. I don't think that we really need to have anything more. And so I do want to come back in here and kind of change these up a little bit. I want to have a little bit of a shopping center right here. So we will go back into our bike road and then let's have this cut in, go into the middle and then come up here and connect. Nice. So we'll do a little shopping center right there. And then I think we're going to do the same thing over here. So let's um, cut this back just a smidge. And then we will go into our bike road. Let's go straight just a little bit. And we could go at a 90 or we could go at a curve. Maybe we'll, I think maybe we'll curve this back. So we'll go like that. And then we will have this come down. So if I go at like a 90 and go like that, go like that. Perfect. Nice. And so now we have created a couple little shopping centers, which is fantastic. This is kind of a big uh, connection road right here as well. And then this is our couplet, which I think we're going to end up doing a plaza. We ended, we did a big plaza over here. And so I think by continuing that it's going to end up looking really cool. And so now for our inner neighborhoods, I think what we're going to do is just have some roads go across. I really don't want to get too complicated with it. Um, I want to put these in and then start focusing on detailing and getting our green belts in, just making it look good. That's really the goal here. Nice. And so these roads do have the bike lane on one side. And so one of the things you got to be careful of is just making sure that the bike road is on the same road. So it does look like we had a missed connection right there. So we'll go ahead and reconnect that and then flip this around. Nice. And so this is coming together pretty nicely. Um, we could also do a road in here, but honestly, this one's already pretty tight and it's going to allow us some space maybe to do like a little neighborhood park. 
And so now all we need to do is create some outside connections. So let's come into our four unit road, go to this one with trees. And I think we will have this one go up. Okay, so now we need to do, we need to connect these up. So we will have this connect right there and we're going to go like right here. And I had deleted that road on the opposite side. We do want to get a couple other connections in here, but I just don't, with it being so hilly, it's going to be kind of tough. So then for these sections, I do want to have a road cut across the bus lane. But because of how steep it is, what we need to do is have a little bit of a curve. So we are going to turn off snapping, come up this way, and then have it go straight. And then we're going to have it turn in, and then we're probably going to do the same thing on the other side. So we'll have it curve up this way, and then go down, and then have it curve in. It's not as necessary on that other side, but I feel like it still kind of captures that look that we're going for. So if we go like this, and then we'll do the same thing on this side, go like that. And so I think we'll probably do the same thing here. And there we go. Let's see how steep that one was, because that was actually, so 5.3, that is pretty steep. Maybe if we go the opposite direction. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and flip this real quick. Yeah, you know what, that looks a lot better. And the, the slope on it is so much better. So it's like if we, yeah, so 1.8 now, and even on this steeper side, it's only three versus that five. That was just going to be way too much. And so now we have two connections in here. We have two connections in there, two connections. Okay, so now what I want to do is go ahead and connect up these other roads. So we will come up over here. Let's connect this up probably like right here. Yeah, there we go. And then let's do another little road right here, even though this is through our little green belt. So I think we'll probably just do a straight across road. I feel like that would probably be good. And then we do need to make another connection over here, but I think we're going to do a shopping center in here. So maybe we will actually do a connection off of this side. So if we do a connection like right here, how bad does that look? Oh, you know what? That's actually not too bad. So now all of our little neighborhoods have multiple access, Ooh, except for this one. Looks like we forgot about that one. And so now if there was any sort of emergency or anything, they would be able to connect across. And then we still have some nice green path areas and we're going to do some, we're going to be able to walk down the busway right here. And I feel like this looks pretty good. And so now let's start looking at our bus network before we start doing anything else. So I want our bus road to come off this way. And I think we're going to do a one unit. We'll probably do a one unit one way. We will have our bus come up this way. And let's actually have it branch off from this corner. So if we turn on snapping, come up over here and then go this way. Oops, that was wrong. So we'll go like this, go back, bring this back, come up this way. And there we go. And then that way what we can do is have this curve in there and then have this turn. So now our buses come across here and then turn left, which is fantastic. And so now we will have this go straight just a little bit further and let's um, have it go down. So it can come down here and get back onto this, which I think is actually pretty good. So we'll probably have it come like right here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, you know what, that actually looks pretty good. And so we probably will do a couple bays as well. So let's see about putting in a second road. So we'll go like this and then let's, we should be able to just connect this up. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then we'll do the same thing here, have that go like that. And then I'm gonna jump in to move it and just kind of clean this up a little bit, just a little off. Yeah, there we go. This just looks a little bit better. And then we can jump into node controller and just kind of open these up. So I'm gonna hold shift, grab that, bring our corner offset all the way back, probably about like right there. And then do the same thing on this side, hold all, Grab that, bring it all the way back. Yeah, we'll go like right there, perfect. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. Nice, there we go. So now this looks a little bit better and we're gonna come back through here and probably mess with the uh, surface painter and everything. And then I wanna do a nice little stop, turn this into just a nice area. We'll probably do some awnings. Okay, so now what I wanna do is go ahead and place down this Home Depot. And it's kind of funny, I definitely, I didn't look at this building before, it's definitely huge. So I think what we're gonna do is augment this neighborhood just a smidge. We're going to cut this back and then we will use the picker mod, grab our road. And this is just gonna be a smaller neighborhood. So we'll go ahead and go like that, perfect. And then that way we can come in here and let's place this down and then we will turn it, go like this. And then let's go ahead and place it a little bit to the left because I wanna get some parking in here. And then we still actually to the right, we still need to provide access for trucks as well. We have a bay right here and it looks like we have a small little opening back there, but I think this is the receiving bay right there. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and throw in a parking lot real quick. All right, so the parking lot is in and I even put little uh, parking spaces up here in the front since you normally will have, uh, like it says, contractor pickup. 
Um, people who are picking up like lumber or something over here, like they'll be able to just pull in under here and then uh, um, park a little bit closer or like fill up the truck with something, especially if it's heavy. All right, so now what I want to do is focus on this area and I want to do a small little commercial center and I got a few more of these buildings from Thomas13T off of his Patreon and he is just a, such an awesome creator. Honestly, if you guys want to uh, check him out, his uh, Patreon has a ton of stuff. He does eventually release his stuff on Steam, so if you just want to wait it out, you can. I have a lot of his assets in my modern asset list, um, but this one he just recently had on his Patreon, and I think it is just such a fantastic little commercial building. So what we're going to do is actually place a couple of these, and we're going to turn this into a small little shopping center. So let's um, go ahead and place those right there, and I think we will even do one sideways since a lot of times um, these shopping centers are kind of on the bigger side. So I think we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and mess with that terrain a little bit just to make it a little more even. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and raise these up as well. We'll raise that up. And then, yeah, I feel like that actually looks pretty good. We may still need to mess around with the terrain just a smidge. And so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and place down another parking lot. And then it's actually super easy if you've never done these. You just um, kind of draw them down. And then I'm going to use the border road. And so we will probably just do one row. We'll go all the way across and then jump into the drive road and then connect it up in a couple spaces. Um, we could connect it up right there. I'm tempted to, but I, I don't really want to create a mega um, interchange right there, especially with the or intersection, especially with the buses. And so let's um, now just fill this in. This is definitely an easier parking lot. And so let's uh, come in here and we'll go to our 0.5, grab this, grab that, and then do some handicap parking. So we'll come in here, fill this all the way across. Let's go like that, go like this. And then I think we will just leave the opposite side empty. So let's go ahead and go like that. Yeah, I feel like that looks pretty good. We'll probably do some planters in there just to make it look a little better. And then let's come in here, clean this up, and then we'll do an, a small little plaza in there. I think we'll even scoot this over to like little seating areas since a lot of times these have restaurants and stuff in them too. But I just really like these assets. I think they look really cool. They're uh, really cool buildings. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and decorate this up real quick.
Okay, so I finished the shopping mall and I have to admit I went a little crazy with this one. So I decided to do retaining walls. I was looking at the uneven ground and I was like, you know what, this would be a good opportunity to do something fun. So did a retaining wall with an awning over here with some fountains, a couple little benches. And I did some more awnings back here with some tables just so that if somebody was eating at like one of the little quick service restaurants here, they could kind of eat in the back or in the front. And then I did little benches in the back. This would be where like people took breaks and stuff. Um, and I think it looks really good. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, this definitely took a little while. I also did little decals in here. And I really like these buildings a lot. I feel like this is a really good addition for this. And for ADA access, there there is still buildings, uh, entrances on flat ground before you get into the stairs. So like over here. So there would be ways for people to get up into the upper levels without having to go up to the stairs, which is super important. Okay, so now what I want to do is focus on our little bus terminal over here. So I really want to get a plaza in here. So we're going to jump into the parks tab and go ahead and place one of our standard plazas into here. I feel like it's just going to be a really good fit. So if we go like that, yeah, that actually looks pretty good. And then let's see if we have any zoning off of these as well. We do. We have a little bit of zoning. So let's go ahead and do a pedestrian road and we'll allow trucks to come up here so that we can still get a little bit of access because what I would like to get is just a couple rows of small shops in here. So we'll probably do organic and local produce like we've done in the past. And I feel like it's just going to really help us to capture a nice look in here. So let's go ahead and control each right there as well. It does look like we're a little off over here too. Let's um, bring that up. Yeah, you know what? That looks a little bit better. It does look like our uh, corners are a little off. Let's see if we can just adjust these a smidge. Yeah, there we go. And then let's see if we can get this one as well. Let's move it over just a bit. We'll go like this. Hey, yeah, you know what? This actually already looks pretty good. And then let's jump into find it and go into all, or no, let's go into growable. And then we will go to organic and local produce. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place a couple of these on either side. Yeah, we're gonna go like that and go like that. Let's go ahead and move this down. So we'll grab that. Yeah, there we go, nice. And you know what? That already looks pretty good. I like these little stalls. We could go ahead and put one of these as well. So let's grab that. And then I think what we can do is go ahead and flip this around. So I think we'll go like right here and then let's go ahead and copy that as well and do the same thing on this side. So we'll grab that and then let's control H so that we're at the right height. We'll grab that. Yeah, you know what? This actually looks really cool. I want to flip this around again though. So we'll grab this, go like that. So I think for this side, what we're going to do is grab one of these. I really like these container areas. I feel like this looks really cool. This already is coming together really nicely. Um, and then we'll come back through here and do some detailing and stuff in a detailing time lapse. And so I want to do like a little plaza in here. We'll do our stops. And so now we've got a little bit of shopping as well so that this would be kind of a small destination. We'll probably do like another little park area over here. We really want to create some inviting spaces. And so now I want to do some apartments over here. So if we come in here and search up apartments, I got some new ones recently. Yeah, so I want to do these Ocean Drive apartments. I feel like these are just great looking buildings. I really like the look of them. They look fantastic. And so what I'm thinking is we will grab a one unit road. And let's actually do a big entrance. So we're gonna do a four unit road and we will have the entrance come like right here, turn on snapping and let's uh, go like this. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is go ahead and jump into a one unit road now and we will have this come this way. Yeah, we'll keep on snapping, that'll be good. And then let's go ahead and place our first apartment right in the middle, right as you walk in. I feel like that would just be fantastic. And a lot of times you have like a leasing office somewhere too. So I feel like we'll probably get like a small office as well. So if we just search up office. Okay, and so we're gonna go ahead and use these two buildings and this would be for like shopping and also a little bit of high rise living, um, but then also the leasing office would be in these buildings. And so now we will grab our one unit road, have it extend out here. And we need to do a little bit of parking as well. So let's jump into a small parking lot and we could do the the street parking as well. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and upgrade these roads to these PLR roads. And what this is gonna do is allow us to have street parking. And I actually really like these street parkings too. They're, they're pretty interesting. So if we go ahead and place a couple of these down, we'll go like that, go like that. And then we'll go ahead and copy it on this side as well. We'll go like that, go like that, perfect. And now we have access over here, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this and come in here, copy that building can, and then place this 
down we'll go like right there and then let's do one over here as well and then let's control h just to make sure that those are at the correct heights and there we go and so let's go ahead and copy some on the opposite side as well so let's copy that building come over here We'll probably just do one of these and then we'll do a fence around the back side. We have that little shopping center in the front, so I wouldn't want to get too crazy. So let's go to follow terrain. We'll grab this and then come up over here. Let's grab our road and do a little inlet over here. So we'll have this come up here and go like that. Perfect. And then let's go back to our road or our building. Grab that, come over here, place this one down. We'll go ahead and place another one across the street. And you know what, I think that looks pretty good right there. We could even move this in just a smidge since we uh, kind of left a space open. We could do a pool back there. I feel like that would be good. So then let's um, come in here, search up PLR again, and let's find our lovely little street parking. So if we come in here, you know what, I actually really like this one. Yeah, this one's good. So we'll go like that. And then I think we got some really small ones too. Yes, yeah, so we'll go like that. And then let's come over here and exit out of there. And voila, we already have a ton of street parking, which is fantastic. So we'll go like that. Okay, and so now what I wanna do is go ahead and place down a couple little small parking lots as well. So we're gonna go ahead and place a couple of these down. And then what we're gonna do is do some covered parking um, because a lot of times these places have just a ton of parking. And so we would definitely need to have it. Um, so let's go ahead, let's do a five, what is it, five by one. Yeah, we'll grab this one, go like right there. No, you know what? That just doesn't look good. Actually, you know what? If we extend that road out, it might look good. So if we grab this, extend it out just a smidge, then what we can do is do like a five by two if I have it. Maybe a three by three. That could be good. So we'll do a couple three by threes. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then we're going to come back through here and do covered parking. So if we actually looked it up right now, I should have them in here. Actually, you know what? I think they're in network. So if we go into fences, and come down here, yeah, we're gonna use these ones. These are just great. I love these little assets, I think they're so cool. So we'll go ahead and go like this, and then let's um, do a couple rows back here. We'll grab that, go like this, and then we will turn off snapping, have this come back. It's okay if they're touching, so we'll go like that. And then we will do this as well. Let's do it on this side. And there we go, and so now we have our covered parking, and I think this looks really good. Now I just wanna go through and do some pools and stuff, and so, I think we're gonna do it at the end with this. We will do a big detailing time lapse. And so now let's get in here and start placing down some homes. So I think we're gonna do the suburban American homes because I really like them. I think they, they look very standard. Okay, so I went ahead and did a district all the way around. And what I'm gonna do now is turn on our districts, hit holy heights, go to themes, enable custom the or enable theme manager for this district and hit rural America, that's okay. We have all of our suburban homes in here as well as some commercial buildings for us. And what I want to do is go through here and just zone all this out so that we can start getting some homes in, then we can make some adjustments if necessary. And so we'll go all the way around. Okay, and so I got it all zoned. Before we hit play, I do want to go through and place down some parks. Parks would be super important, so I want to get a couple of these big ones if we can. So park with trees. Um, I feel like maybe that's just a smidge too big, so maybe we'll do a couple small playgrounds. And we want these to be like inner neighborhood parks so that people would have somewhere nearby to like bring the kid or maybe walk the dog. And so we'll do that. And then we're going to do a couple dog parks as well. So we're going to do the dog parks across the street from those. And these would, these are just great amenities to have within your cities, um, within your little neighborhoods. And so we'll go ahead and place that there. And then let's go ahead and do a slightly bigger one over here. Yeah, we'll go like that. Perfect. And then we still need to do a school, a library. And so maybe we'll actually turn this other commercial center into uh, like a school area. I feel like that could be good especially since we have, it's kind of in the middle of a huge residential area. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and place down some water pipes real quick. Okay, and so water pipes in, and so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit play, and we are gonna let this run for a minute and see all of our buildings come in, and then we're gonna go ahead and adjust it, do our schools and, and do a library and some of our other services. And so let's see what happens. Okay, so I let it run for quite a while and we are still not getting any homes and a lot of it just comes down to our services. So we need to start placing down our services. It does look like we have a couple uh, roads that are facing the wrong direction though. So I want to go around and just fix these real quick. So like this one, we would want on the other side, yeah. So we'll go like that. We want them on the right side. Nice. And so now what I want to do is start placing down some services and other amenities and then our uh, our school. And so what we'll do first, I want to place down a couple of these community pools. Anybody who's been watching me for a while knows that I like placing these down. They are rather expensive, but they're really nice amenities, especially for neighborhoods. And it is something that you do see in neighborhoods as well. And so 
Um, it'll be something where like these pools will just cover the whole community so that people can go swimming or like you bring your kids out, like just have a good time. And so I think they're great amenities to have. We'll go ahead and place down three. I think that that's probably good. I like this one out into our little green path as well. And then another thing that we didn't get was paths. And it was kind of funny. I was placed on the parks because I didn't want to destroy anything. And then after I was building it all out, I was like, you know, we forgot to do paths. And so my goal is to not have to delete anything, but we shall see. So I want to connect up all of our roads to the bus road, but then I also want to have some winding kind of pathways that are going to go through our green greenways. And so we will go around and connect all these up real quick. Okay. And so I got most of them connected. And so now what I want to do is do some pathways in here. So we are going to connect it up probably about like right there and I'm going to have it follow the bus road. So we will have it go this way and kind of meander around. It doesn't need to be perfect. And there we go. So now we have a nice little pathway in here and then we can go ahead and do one on this side as well. So we will follow that same lead, go like this, have it go all the way down. Let's go ahead and have this one follow as well. And I think we're gonna turn this into a park space. Initially, I was gonna do another little commercial center, but I see we have some commercial zoning over here and with the mall, we really would uh, want to try and encourage as many people as possible to go there. And so I think it's a good choice to just uh, kind of leave that. And it's so funny, we still are finding some of these that are facing the wrong direction. So we will go like this. Yeah, we're good. We'll go like that. Perfect. And this one is on the right going this way. And so I think we are good. Nice. And so now we have some awesome little paths in here. Now what I want to do is I think we can actually push this out and get a little more zoning up top. I think that that would be good. So if we come in here, go to our level terrain tool and go increase our brush size just a smidge and then come up here and go like this. Yeah, this is gonna be great. It's gonna allow us to get some zoning off of here, which is gonna be fantastic. And so we will come in here, go to force zoning, perfect. And then let's go ahead and zone that in. Yeah, nice. Cause then those are gonna be like the nice little homes with the views and everything. Um, even though there isn't really much of a view right now, they definitely would have the ocean in the back. And so um, now let's go ahead and jump into our services. So I want to do a combined schooling area right here. I think that that would just be really great for this area. So I think what I'm going to do first is throw in a parking lot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and draw in a bus road going into the middle here. We're just going to have it loop around and this is going to basically service both of the schools. All right, so I think we're just going to end up doing the high school here. I was trying to fit both of them, but for some reason... Uh, but there just wasn't enough space to be able to do any sports. And I felt like it was just gonna look a little weird if we didn't get any sports in there. And so we're gonna go back here and then now we are going to place down some basketball courts and also some tennis courts. And then I wanna come back through and decorate them up, just make them look good. And this is gonna definitely be a small school. Like there's not gonna be any baseball fields or anything, which kind of does suck, but there's other areas in the region where they would be able to uh, grab some sports like that and stuff. So. We will go like this and then i think back here so we got basketball tennis it would i would really like to get something else but man this space is just so tight this really isn't a big space because i think we're gonna end up doing the elementary like right here so if we grab this place this down and then do one of the playgrounds right next to it i feel like this is gonna be good and a lot of times these uh elementary schools are in little neighborhoods like this so if we place that right there yeah perfect i feel like that's pretty good and it's gonna help service this whole area and the high school is a little bit bigger. Honestly, I, I wish I had more space here, um, but we're definitely limited by uh, the space that we have, which um, happens in real life. And so um, we will grab this drive road now and we are going to connect this up. And I want to have a couple connections. So we will connect that, connect that. And there we go. And so let's go ahead and look at this bumpiness and see what we're looking at here. So if we go ahead and lower this down just a smidge, can we get this to look a little bit better? Yeah, it's not bad. It still is a little bit bumpy, but honestly, I don't know if we would be able to get it much better. Um, same with this space. It's kind of an awkward space. I think this is the best we're going to get, and we're going to come back through and do a little plaza in here, and I think it's going to end up looking good. All right, so now what I want to do is make sure that we have adequate service coverage. So we want to come in here, and I'm going to put them off this couplet road because this is kind of like our main road. And so we will come over here. Let's go ahead and put the fire department right there. I feel like that is fantastic. And then let's do a little medical clinic over here as well. So let's do the medical clinic like right here. I feel like this is good. Let's look at that. Yeah, you know, that looks pretty good. We'll probably come through here and level that out just to make it look a little bit better. And then let's do a police station as well. Where can we put this? Maybe we could put this on this side. 
So we will put the police station like right there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I actually think if we move that over here, it would look a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. And so now we have adequate service coverage. We're looking pretty good. Our building should start building out pretty quick. And then we'll do some parks and probably turn this middle space into a park space too. But we've got to kind of see. So we need to jump into our metro tracks, go to unmodded and have this come straight. And then let's actually place down our station. So if we come over here, let's do this glass one since this seems to be uh, like a design the city has paid for and uh, they're just kind of replicating. And so we will come over here, go like this, connect this up. And we don't really need it to go any further for right now. We just want to connect that up to make it a little bit faster for these people. Those stations are still really close together, but it would definitely help to uh, just increase the accessibility, get more people to come down here, which is really what we want. So then we're going to bring this down here. Okay, so I got those lines in, and so now let's look at our bus coverage. And so let's jump in here. I know we have our BRT line that actually comes down here. So we would not want these people to be stuck right there. So if we move that, they should have enough room, yeah. So we don't want them to have to uh, come down here, which would be terrible. So it does look like our BRT line is a little messed up. So let's actually have this come all the way down to our university area. We're going to go like right here, come up here. Let's do a stop right there just because we can. And so I feel like that's pretty good. We have it coming up over here, going down, coming all the way over here, and then even connecting up over here. So now our BRT has access to this whole neighborhood and our little station over here. And so now I'm going to do one going the opposite direction. We're going to have a little bit of a problem here. We're going to have to loop all the way around. Nice. And so now we have two new lines over here, which is fantastic. And we've created access for this, for our mall, which is really what we were trying to go for. So we should be able to unpause and let this all grow out. I would imagine that our land value in this area has drastically improved. It's definitely really bright right here. It should start to get bright right here. Um, but we definitely need to put in some trees and stuff. That's really what it's lacking now. And so what I'm going to do is probably do a small park over here. I'm going to come through and probably do some walking areas in here, though, with the metro. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I think maybe just a small plaza on either side would be good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse.
Okay, so after probably way too long, I have finally finished. And so first thing I did, I did um, hedges going around every single house. And then I put in some trees and I ended up doing trees all the way around the outside because I really wanted to create more of like a secluded um, neighborhood. And then for our green belts, I just did bushes around our pathways with a couple little trees scattered around so that anybody, if they wanted to like sit underneath a tree or just kind of hang out, they could, or maybe you're walking your dog or something. Um, I ended up putting in plazas and parks kind of scattered throughout. And then the biggest thing I did initially, we were going to put our high school here. And after kind of looking at it, I was like, you know what? I just, I really didn't like the design. So I ended up moving the high school way over here. And so this is our little Cashman high school. I put this little sign in here and then I put in a faculty center with a little plaza and a bunch of sports with some parking back here with another little entrance. And I felt like this was just a little more fitting for this area. Um, and so I think that looks really good. I ended up doing one small pool area over here. I initially wanted to do a couple more, but it was just really tight. I did a fence going all the way around, just some small minor details just to kind of clean it up. I think this area looks really nice. I like these apartment slash condos. Um, for our bus terminal, I ended up doing these shaded areas with some benches in the middle where the buses pull up. And then I did some kind of like community seating areas over here. Maybe you're like waiting for the bus or something. It kind of does look like our fountain is a little weird. That um that doesn't look that great. This would probably be, people would probably be like, what's going on with this? So we will just kind of try to level this out a little bit better. That's not much better, but honestly, it's just because of the terrain. And then uh, also for the middle, I decided to just do something simple instead of doing more concrete plaza areas. I just did these purple trees and just turned it into a really nice walking area. It actually looks like we got a lot of people walking down here. And so now there is great walkability, especially from our metro stop over here. And our buses are being utilized, um, though it doesn't look like a whole lot. Maybe we need to adjust those bus lines. We'll probably not get it done on this one. Um, for our Home Depot area, just did some trees around. And then I did a fence around the backside to kind of protect the loading area. And so I think that's it. We definitely did a lot. But honestly, um, the Cashman Foundation is definitely respected within the city now. This is a great new development for the area. And it has capped off this little circle that's kind of been sitting there for a long time now. And so go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and hit that subscribe button or that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And if you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one.